Hello and welcome to a quick tutorial on how to use the homework monitoring website. Uh, to recap, the URL of the website is homeworkhomepage.com. If you go there, you'll see this page with a nice sign in button down the bottom. If you click that button, you'll be able to sign in with a Gmail account, either a personal account, if you prefer to use that, or your school account. As soon as you've signed in, it'll bring you to your homework homepage. Uh, that should, when you come on for the first time, look like this. You'll have two buttons you can click. If you've used the spreadsheet before, for previous semesters, you might want to import your spreadsheet. Uh, for anyone else who hasn't used the spreadsheet in previous semesters, uh, or who wants to just start using the website instead, you can click this button on the right, which will let you input information directly into the website. Once you click that button, you'll have a couple fields to fill in. The first one is that you can import your classes from Canvas by using an ICS URL, which is just essentially a calendar feed that Canvas provides. To do this, just go to your Canvas page, click on the calendar on the left side, and then, once it loads, on the bottom right-hand side, you'll see something that says calendar feed. Click that button, and you should get this nice URL. Copy the URL in its entirety, and then paste it into this top window here that says enter ICS feed URL and click load. Now, once you've done that, as soon as you reload the page and any time you subsequently come back to the page, it will automatically load all of your assignments into the website. Alternatively, if you'd prefer, you can simply enter all of your classes by their codes manually, like history 301. And add those as new classes, and then add individual assignments for those classes. Those will likewise be added to the to-do list, and you can then select them and begin to uh, time them. The idea is that any time you want to come and do homework, you should open up the web page. You might want to pin it in your uh, web browser of choice, Firefox, Chrome, or anything else. And then, as soon as you come to do homework, uh, simply select the assignment you plan to work on, click Start to begin a timer. At any point during uh, working on the assignment, you can stop the timer uh, and resume it as many times as you want. If you accidentally start it without realizing, you can cancel and that will delete the most recent interval that you've been working on the assignment. You can then uh, also have the option to finish the assignment uh, if you're completely done with it and want it to go away from your to-do list. Uh, doing this will cause it to leave the to-do list and move down to the previous assignments here. If you accidentally did that, you can click this button here to re-add it to the to-do list and keep working on it. The other way you can change the amount of time you've spent on an assignment is by clicking the View Edit Assignment button. This will pop up a window which will show you all of the details about the assignment, including the course, the title, the description, as well as all intervals you've already spent on the assignment. So, if, for example, you were to start this assignment have the timer go for a few seconds, then stop the assignment. If you click the View Edit Assignment button, it'll show you that you spent three seconds working on the assignment. Uh, you can then edit that time interval if you got it wrong, uh, changing it with this handy calendar here. Um, and you also have the ability to add new time intervals, like so. So if, for example, you want to record homework that you did without access to your computer or offline, you can simply write down the time and date, and then come to the website later and add the times manually. Once you've accumulated some data, and eventually your graph should start to look like this. They're nice interactive graphs, so at any time you can choose to eliminate one of the subjects, or multiple of the subjects, to see what the breakdown looks like for any other specific choice of classes. In the future, I'll be adding options to allow you to, by default, hide some of these classes. Another feature, which you might have noticed, is that you can have classes that aren't actually classes at school. To do that, simply add a class manually, but name it whatever you want. So you could use this to record Quest, you could use it to record Driving Practice, uh, anything else that you want. Uh, and to add an assignment for those courses, uh, as soon as you add them, they'll appear here. So you can see I've added Quest, for example, and then I can add a new task and add that to the to-do list just like for any actual class at school. Um, additionally, you have some other graphs down here that'll show you a breakdown of how much time you spend by day of the week. At the moment they're all in seconds, I'll be changing that very shortly to be in hours. This graph will show you how much time you've spent on uh, 
each class by every single day if you want a more detailed breakdown. Uh, and this graph at the bottom shows you how your time distributes throughout the day. Uh, if there's any more graphs that you'd like to see added, please let me know. If there's any other suggestions you have, uh, please email me or come talk to me in person. Uh, one last feature is that if you use the Global Online Academy and have a separate Canvas page for that, you can go to that other Canvas page, get the ICUS, ICS URL for that page, and then copy that down into this second box here to load classes from your other Canvas. Uh, that's all, and thank you for using the homework monitoring page.